Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the previous video we were talking about setting up the React router. Now we will extend that example and we will explore more features about React router. And we are also able to run this example. So here we have header component and we have created this team component separately. I mean these are just a dummy components. When you hit forward slash it will launch home component. For the team it is launching team component. If nothing is matching, then it will come here and it will give you not fine. So this is another way in which you can write the component definition here itself. Like this component is rendering this JSX content. Okay. So uh, if you are hitting team, that is fine. Up home, that is fine. When you hit about, that route is not there. So it will render not found. Okay. So what we have done till now, we are using browser router and we understand how to create a links. We created a separate header file. We were able to create separate separate link for our routings. Like I have created a three links. I am putting that in as a common component on the top. So this will be available for all the component definitions. And I have multiple routes so I can put that inside a switch. So this switch case will work. This is passing. If uh, this is matching, then this will come. If this is matching, then this will come. Otherwise, it will go to not found. To have this not found condition, you have to wrap it around switch. Otherwise, this not found component route will not work. Switch means it is just keep checking. Otherwise, this and this is the default case. If nothing is matching, I will put not found the the route not found or link not valid or your 404 page for your front end application. You can put. Okay, so we have this till now. We just covered very basics. Here we are using exact that means based on this path this particular component is getting replaced okay and we have created this uh, 404 component also if nothing is matching then 404 component is getting published okay now what else we can learn about these different routes we are talking about browser router so browser router uses html5 history apis to keep the user interface sync with the routes so like you are clicking on to forward slash, you are clicking on to the forward slash team and then you are able to go back and forth. Like here I put home team. So here you are able to move back and forth because this browser router, uh, the React module, uh, this library is using HTML5 history API. That's why you are able to go back and forth based on the route navigation you have done. Okay, so the history object created by router contains the number of properties like one of that property is location. If you just try to see this uh, and inspect it, then we will try. We can see a lot of things are there. I will just try to show this in the React Dev tools. So I just inspect the components. Here you can see browser router. And here in this router, you can see we have history APIs and in the history API, this is the HTML5 history API where we can do history, push, pop, go back, go forward and all these things. This is the location property. And here in this, the path name is this. So when you change it to the team, the path name is getting changed, changed. and it is creating unique key for each and every uh, location, right? And this particular component is getting changed when you are clicking on it, right? So this is the history API and history has this location attribute. Location contains all these additional attribute, right? And it contains what is your current routing and it is keep doing push for. Okay, so the location object, which is the history APIs has all these things, path name, search, hash and state. <coughs> so you can also pass some kind of a state when you are actually navigating from one route to another route and you wanted to send some kind of a data then you may be using these attributes to pass some kind of a data okay now we come to this route tag this route tag has a lot of things if you can see here in this particular route we are checking that what is the path name and here we are getting this match so consider that currently these are the plain routes what if if you are writing the nested routes like uh, you wanted to render something team forward slash team id and then you wanted to return or render only particular team information right then you have to extract the team id from the url so that we will be doing from the props dot match dot params dot team id 
that we will see in the code okay and this is the value of the router and the history and route api okay so this route is receiving a lot of properties if you are looking at this for the first time don't worry about it you will understand it slowly how we are accessing the route props properties so in the props we are getting all these things this is the component and this is the location inside location we are receiving the path name search keyword and add and in the state we are receiving all these properties we have this is the current state of uh, our component okay coming back to our code where we have written this route attribute so route component is one of the most important building block in the whole react router dom apis we are accessing router so we are using browse router which is using html5 api then route okay so route has these three things exact path and component component is something which is going to be rendered when this is getting hit but here we are using exact tag so exact tag means this path should match it should not be anything else if you are hitting like team faultless id then this is not matching with this path so that will not this component will not render and you will see the not found okay so when a path is matched react component should be rendered so that there is a change in the ui okay so here we have three things uh, component render and children so if you just see we have route uh, which is receiving exact path and component in the component you will you will be passing the component name okay there are other things also you can do instead of uh, component here i will just create one some route this is my route tag it is exact to my path is items and instead of component you can directly render something here uh, itself okay you can write your render function and in this render function you might want to return something jsx right so this is also a valid route we have created for the items and this is exact match so whenever you are hitting items you will be able to see see the list of items okay here you can also pass the props if you are just receiving some route props then you can just pass the same props here to this component i mean this can be your child component it can be just a jsx or any other child component which you wanted to render like i wanted to render item and i wanted to pass some props which i am receiving from directly so you can use this this structuring passing the component directly and i am just passing it so item component i am rendering for the items route i am passing these props directly and if you have some property if you have some data here like const data i have something in data is a name then you can also pass that data property i mean it's same as like any other component we are writing you can pass all kind of information here this is now a component item is a component an item component you can write like i can write item component here itself it is functional component and what it is returning is okay and we are just passing the props you can access the props if you want like i am passing the props i can just do console.log what props i am receiving okay so <clears throat> this is how we are able to render the component definition and we can reload this and when you hit the items import in body module reorder to the top okay const item this is complaining about it so this is my item component let's see what reordering we need
So here in the console log we can get more information about it. Okay, this is a ESLint warning, not a code error. Line 15. Oh, sorry. This is disaster. Okay. Here we are actually importing something in the middle that is wrong. Right, so if I hit items, then I will be able to render the item and you can see I'm matching. This is the data I'm receiving in that item component. And in the item component, we are just returning simple what data? Uh, we are just returning simple data and doing nothing. In the item component, we are returning hello world. Okay, so this is the coming up. Hello world is coming up and we are able to see this console.log. Here you can see all the properties. This is the data I'm passing. This is my location. This is my path name. All these things are coming up. Okay, now coming to the switch. So React Router Library also contain a switch. That component is used to wrap multiple routes together. So you know the switch case in normal JavaScript, right? When you have a multiple routes together, then you need to have a switch case so that they can behave properly. So consider that you are not writing exact. If you're writing exact means it have to match with this exact path, otherwise, it is not going to make a proper discipline, right? So in that case, you can use a switch inside a switch wrapper, which will decide, oh, consider that there are two routers, something like this. If you are going to write these two routes without switch block, then these will break. Either you are rendering items or items forward slash two, both the components will be rendering. So to prevent this particular situation, we have to actually use the switch Route a switch wrapper outside it so that switch wrapper will decide which component need to be rendered for a particular condition. So path is this, then it will render this, path is this, then it will render that. Okay, that is the importance of switch. Here it is not playing a major role. Okay, so we can just wrap it around inside a switch and then switch will take care of what component need to be rendered based on the condition. Then we have the link, link we are using in the header component, which is actually going to create a href tag when it is rendering it is just going to create a link so that it can bind the to these different links different routes forward slash forward slash about so it's not seen as anchor tag we can't write anchor tag to navigate to a particular route so link is a special uh, property which is provided by react router dom to do that okay so this is the basic uh, high level routing okay which we have we can also do the nested routing Instead routing means routing inside routing. So we will see that in the next video.